Hello, I'm Louis the Jaeger from the Food Forest Institute. I'm currently on Tenerife, a part of the Canary Islands. It's an amazing island which is very peculiar because there is a volcano, the Tede, which is almost 4,000 meters high. What's so special if you go up, as I went yesterday and I burned myself a little bit, um, I was in the snow, I could make snowballs and throw with them. At the same time, when I went down, when I went to the sea, I went swimming. So you have all these climates just in one tiny island. And what can you do with a very nice climate? You can grow very nice things. So here we are currently on Zangano Farm. I'm guest of David and he has a, a beginning food forest where he grows all kinds of amazing things. And I'm going to show you, or better, I'm going to ask him more information about all these kind of varieties. And um, maybe I'll be able to taste some too. So let's go. We're standing here at the beautiful swimming pool. Um, I'm looking forward to take a dive in. Um, but could you maybe tell us a little bit more about uh, which climate we're in? Maybe tell the, the viewers where, where are we right now? Where are we now? Well, if you look closely, where are we? We could be anywhere, actually. On the island, we have all climates you can find on Earth, basically, from tropical, subtropical. That's what happened to us, mostly subtropical. Uh, and up to Mediterranean, if you go further, and altitude and mountain, mountain climate, if you're looking for it. That's the beauty of the, of the islands, then you can really find any climate you're looking for, for whatever uh, uh, crops, uh, food you want to grow, and also for activities, like you, know, you can go snowboarding in the morning and surfing in the afternoon, no worries. So, for my, my interest is, I would say, for yeah, subtropical climates and what we got here, uh, specifically for the altitude. Yes. We are, How high are we? We are a sharp 300 meters. 300. Right? Yeah. And for this sharp altitude and close, to be close to the sea and to have the protection of the valley, yes. we have this very, very, very specific climate that allows us and both uh, Mediterranean trees like apples and pears, okay. and uh, subtropical and up to tropical. Uh, uh, because tropical. You got, yeah, you got the mango tree, Ma oh, mango yeah. and manga, mango, manga, and uh, one bananas, and you can even get uh, pineapples. Pineapples? Yeah, a bit further. If you just drop the 100 meter down in the village, you grow pineapples. Here on the farm, I would not, but here in the village, you would. Wow. But uh, yeah, I can have heaps, avocados and all orange and uh, yeah, subtropical and up yes. to tropical and okay. European fruit. And can you tell me a little bit more about the, the rainfall? Because I heard that the island has a... Um, can I call it a water problem? Uh, yeah, well, of course, it's evidently a problem. Yeah, yeah, let's call Can it a you problem. Tell me a little bit more about how water works on this island. Good question. Well, the water works on the island because of the tide of the volcano, the big mountain. Then it's so high, then it gets snow. Yes. And then snow, have time, but because it's mel it will melt slowly, will have time to infiltrate, to go underground, and to go through the mountain and get stored. Yes. Into the mountain. So actually, the whole mountain work as massive so storage there, there's reservoir. There's a huge storage in yeah, the volcano. Yeah, there's actually a lot of volcano. And then before the colonization, there uh, was actually a lot of springs, a lot of rivers and waterfall along the river. And if you look closely, you will see trash like there. Here, obviously, there was there was a waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. And you will find it if you look for it. And since uh, European came and started uh, agriculture and uh, they, they, they use this technique called of galleries and actually mine inside the mountain uh, upward uh, tunnel, 
slightly upward tunnel from the below the mountain and go inside the mountain and we just drain the water from the rocks and okay. collect it on the cannon and then drain it and put it in, in those canals when you see. Uh, on each cannon is connected to at least one gallery with our different level of the mountain, you know. And they started and they started from the top and now they are draining out and every 50 years they make a new gallery a bit lower. Oh no. The mountain, so they can drain more water. But actually since they started last century in less than 50 years they have managed to drain out all the natural river and springs of the island. And but the, are they still there, the rivers and springs? Well, the bed is there, we call it but, Baranko, but there's no water there's running. No water. Yeah, because they, they, they oh, catch no. the water, they catch the water from inside the mountain before the spring, actually. Oh no. Because the springs are always higher, so they yes. make the gallery below, and so they drain down they, the water. They suck it all out. Yeah, suck it out. So, the, so you have the Tate volcano, the snow, it melts. Yeah. It, it, it gets stored inside the mountain. True. But we like dig holes in it to suck it out. And now it's... Yeah, so we are, we are not even catching the water from the spring. We are catching it from okay. underground. And, and the reason they do it, is it because it doesn't rain? Enough here? No, it will rain enough for a lot of agriculture, but banana monoculture, because banana plants do not need so much water, but in case of monoculture, they use a lot more water and then even treat the water before, give it to the plants, so they use more water than you could imagine. And uh, yeah, because it's all public money, they don't care, and it's all private, and the big issue that you will not see anywhere else is then. Uh, on the islands, uh, private, uh, the private company runs the water. Okay, it's so privatized. the water is privatized. Yeah, yeah. So for my farm, I have actions. We call it actions. Actions of uh, quantities of water per month. And uh, yeah, there are expenses. It's like pure mafia deal, man. They sell the water, the price where you're gonna buy Ouch. it, you know, and back and stuff. Yeah. They sell it. Like, but you, you, you need the water from those companies. You cannot do with the rain. Only? Oh yeah, but I will need to have a roof to collect the rain and you know, all summer is really dry, you don't... Yeah. Well, you can grow papas, yeah, but back in the days they grow potatoes. Potatoes, yeah. yeah. potatoes, sweet potatoes with no irrigation, of course, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like if you want, yeah, fruit and veggies, all, yeah, you, yeah, you need water, man. Yes, and if you, for example, would like build up the soil and have like more yeah, organic... Yeah, that takes uh, time and even yeah. this, you need water at the beginning to do and this is years and years of building up and it takes... Yeah, as yeah, the objective of good uh, gardening. Uh, yeah, and how is the soil here? Well, how, how much fertile soil yeah, do you, you have? Know, there's very little soil if you look at it. And you know, actually those farms, yeah, it's very little soil and I assume then when they build up the terraces, they imported dirt from somewhere else. Yeah. Because you look, this is pure rocks, there's no dirt really on the plants And here. it's all volcanic? No, 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 it's not all Oh, not the whole island is no. volcanic. But uh, it's, you have a lot of volcanic rocks, obviously. And, and this, what influence does this volcanic rock have on your crops? Oh, well, depending on how you use it. it uh, depend on the rock itself. It is will retain water, and, and some of them are used to create space for microorganisms to grow. Like it's used a lot in people working with uh, efficient microorganisms. Okay. So this swimming pool here isn't actually a swimming pool. <laughs> well, it's, it's a it's swimming pool since you come and swim in it. Yeah, it's water storage but for irrigation. But it's store water. Yeah. It's a water storage if you yeah. know, and uh, tough enough. Wow. Well, thank you very much for explaining everything. No worries at all. It's a crazy story. How I see that there should be a waterfall, but it isn't there because we just drilled holes in it. Yeah. Because we have to eat. No, uh, yeah, we don't have to eat. The guys are making money because of people who want to eat uh, tropical food. It's more a thing about money and... Yeah. yeah, it's a money thing, and it's our money union and this, yeah, European subsidies, you know, for farmers to wrap up the land or uh, someone else so they yeah. can have fancy. In order to sell local bananas to the European market. Yeah, but there's no local bananas in Europe. There's only European place where bananas could eventually grow. Yeah. 
If you really want to eat bananas, you might have to rethink about it. Crazy. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much for coming and sharing. And uh, please be my guest. <laughs> have a swim. All right, I just had a wonderful tour here on the Zangano farm in Tenerife, Canary Island, Spain. David showed me around and showed me the most beautiful trees. I enjoyed this beautiful scenery. And now the sun is getting here. It's getting a little bit hot and I'm going to take a dip in this water. But first I'm going to ask you, please support Food Forest Institute. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, follow our website and check out our latest videos because we want to spread more food forests in the world. I hope you do too and um, let's go for it. <laughs>